Van Rossen picks up his dribble. Santa Materio dances around Tim. A beautiful bounce pass to Perdeo. Santa Materio with a lovely little dime. Schwed. Jump by Toby. And he passes it in. And that's a beautiful read from Schwed. He finds Booker. The moment Mike Toby jumped out the double team on Schwed, he was straight away looking for Booker. As McCollum now gets the steal. And this time he goes for three. And he goes for seven points in a hurry. Eric McCollum. Better set from Kimki, but they didn't convert the chance that was there for them. Now Valencia on offense. No look lob pass from Hermanson to Williams. Three of 17 now. And at the other end, the high low alley oop slam. McCollum drives around Vives, step back, two point shot. It's short, it's rebounded by Dublovic. And in transition, here comes Valencia, it's Prepolic. And Kimki. Well, it's a nightmare in transition, that's all you can say. Zaitsev. Gives to Booker, Tima, that's a really deep three, and finally they go back to back. First Mickey, now Tima. Kalinic, they lob down to Toby, the help comes, Toby double team. Does he get it out? Yes, he does. Kalinic releases Hermanson, and he gets the flow of the goal. Hermanson. Skips it. Williams attacks the rim and Derek Williams shows one way to shut down a defense as he slams it home with a plum. They get a score again and it's facilitated by that man Hermanson once more. Surely that's it now. Eight point is the lead. Oh, those are turnover. Schwed. Fouled in transition, and that. Well, Valencia trying to be their own worst enemy there. Worst case scenario, you let Schved score and get out the way, but as Bertans gets the steal. Schved pulls up 4 3 at the buzzer. He makes it, it will count. So, final deficit for Kimki is six, but it's a victory for Valencia and a well earned one. That 20 point lead that they had in the third, just too much for Kimki to overcome. It's another defeat for them despite. The buzzer being tripled by Schwed. Yeah, I think I think that's my job coming off the bench today. You know, uh, Kimki played really well in the third quarter, and they showed a completely different team in the second half. And uh, thankfully, we had a little, little bit of a lead after first half, and we were able to match it at the end and get get the win.